I'm gonna go through some of the jewelry and stuff in my room. Get rid of the stuff I don't wear. Hopefully organize things better. It's interesting because I, uh, mom got us a new brand of taquitos and these are bigger than the others so I only need to eat five of these instead of like seven of the others. But it takes some getting used to because it's like a different kind of tortilla and stuff. It's more like a burrito. Uh, I don't remember if it was last night or the night before, but I went through my nail polishes and got rid of all of them except like the colors that I like and that I prefer, so I kept the black one, the green one, did I, I might have kept the green one, I don't remember, and then I had, I only kept like four. I think I'm going to move my jewelry stuff to the kitchen table and come in here and go through my jewelry while I'm eating and while I have tea, so I'll be back. <sighs> I have a whole bunch of stuff. So I have a jewelry box. Then I pulled a bunch of stuff out of the, I don't even know what to call it. And then these are just keychains that I found that I'm not gonna use. Cause now I have a Syntec keychain and I just found a blue, gem heart keychain and I don't need any more than two. So a lot of this jewelry is my Harry Potter jewelry. Like this is a uh, that looks so nasty. Well, this is a Rowena Ravenclaw necklace choker thing. But anyway I kind of feel like I'm never going to wear that. This is um, like an Elsa snowflake necklace and I'm keeping this one. I really like that one. It's cute. Uh, this one can go away. This is my... Oops. I don't know how to do stuff like this. It's a Rainflow Crest Velvet Choker. So I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to get rid of these two. This is a random chain. I'm going to put some in the random pile. Like, here's the heart key chain that I found. This. It's party, but I don't need it. And, like, what is the point of it? <laughs> so... I don't need that. I love these. So, this is the One Ring from Lord of the Rings. And then this is a very, very cheap Eye of Sauron necklace. Um, definitely keeping both these. Okay. This. You can you can't see it because of the glass or the reflection. This is the Hufflepuff cup necklace. I probably got this off of Wish or something. It's pretty heavy. It's pretty nice. I'm not gonna keep it. It's big and it's bulky and it's very difficult to wear. <coughs> Besides, I'm not a Hufflepuff. This is the Slytherin stuff that I have. Or at least the strictly Slytherin themed. Oh my goodness. So, this is a cameo of the Dark Lord when, uh, in, in the Battle of Hogwarts when he died. Basically his face before he, uh, I don't know, disintegrated? This is another, this is a Slytherin house crest necklace. I'm not keeping that. Then here's another one. I got them in both silver and bronze. I think that's why I have two of them. I have two of them for most. It's kind of ridiculous. Uh, and then this is the 
Salazar Slytherin one. I'm not going to keep this either. I'm doing the stuff that's not in the jewelry box first, and then I will go into the jewelry box. So I've learned over the years, if the years, because I'm so old, that I like dainty jewelry instead of like big bulky jewelry. So I like this one. This is the Alohomora necklace and it has a flying key down here. I am going to keep this. This is cute and it's gold. So yes. Keeping that. Now I'm honestly wondering. <clears throat> okay, I know it's probably weird, but I am actually going to get rid of this Ravenclaw one. I just, I have not worn it since 2017 when I went to the studio tour in England, and um, probably never going to wear it again, so yeah. Same thing goes for all of these. These are my Hufflepuff necklaces, and I have, a, I bought them in silver and bronze because I'm stupid. And then this is the Velvet Crest Choker getting rid of all of them never wear them what is this ooh this has some of my favorites in it so this bat necklace <laughs> it's very appropriate for Halloween mm -hmm. guess where I got this I bought this at the gift shop that's over the road Mm. Between the McDonald's and the oh, what, subway. Yep. Oh, it broke. Whatever. I think it was this one that broke. Anyway, I had to. It broke while I was on the trip, and I had to repair it. I think this is the one that broke. But it's like a trip memory, so I'm keeping that one. This is a four-leaf clover. Definitely don't need that. Then this. This is a really, really light, weird heart necklace. And these two, I got them from the 99 cent store, but the, honestly, I swear they're not worth 99 cents. I like this one, though. It's a Celtic knot, and then it has, like, a red gem in the middle of it. It's pretty. This is my Ravenclaw pocket watch. So, I mean, it's cool, but I just can't. I think I have only one Star Wars necklace, and that's this, the Millennium Falcon. But, I'm not the biggest fan of it, so I do think I'm going to get rid of it. It's a rose. It's an upside down rose. Which is adorable. But I do, I think it's either copper or rose gold. I like it. I'm not going to keep this, like, braided bracelet. Same goes with this braided bracelet. This one? I love how it looks, but... And I never ever even realized that there's gems on it here. Until just now. I'm not keeping it. I'm getting rid of it. I, nobody needs these, like, dangly things on their wrist. So, this... I'm pretty sure this is one, did I make this? I don't know, there's three, I think there's three bracelets that I made when Grandpa was in the hospital like a year or two ago. And I think this is one of them, but I am gonna get rid of this one. It's very bulky and very heavy because of the stones. This, uh, it just looks kind of funny, I don't like it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. This, which I braided 
and put in here. Getting rid of it. I love this so much. I made this on an airplane, I think. Yeah, I made it on an airplane and it has a button clasp, which I can't do one-handed. So, I love this. I'm going to keep that. I'm keeping this. It's a green and silver tiny little wrap. Oh. This is a hand chain. So this, obviously, this is the wrist portion. Then it has these different rings that attach to the first, third, and, and fifth fingers. And then this one has the skull on it. I believe this one goes to the middle finger. It's really cool, but I never wear it. It's super, super weird. So I'm going to get rid of that. This is a red and gold, obviously, necklace that I put a lion on. It's obviously for Gryffindor. It's got hearts on it and stuff. Getting rid of it. Okay, these two I know I'm getting rid of. Come here. Alright. <laughs> I'll show them one at a time. This is really, really cool because it's orange and it's made out of the, like, the rondelles, like the fake. I don't know. Anyway. Um, it's made by two big strands of wire and then just threading the little back and forth, putting it through the beads so it just encases it in the... I don't know. It's really, really cool. And I think I've only ever made one of this kind, but I think it turned out really nice. It's just, I made it with orange and I don't know why. <laughs> oh well. And then the, this one, which is really pretty and really colorful, I made it with all kinds of different wires and then all kinds of different beads. Also gonna get rid of that. This one, this one I know I made when we went to see Papa in the hospital because I was working on it uh, and we saw his roommate die in the hallway. It was creepy and I was in the middle of trying to like make these like square knots back and forth. Oh, that was not fun. This is made out of fishing wire. Just green and purple. That's it. I literally don't know why I put these two colors together. This is an actual wrap bracelet that I just made in one long strand and then bent it to go around wrists. Basically you just make a really long strand and then you wrap it around. Yeah. But yeah, I think I'm getting rid of it. Look dead. Needs to be a different color blue to match your hair. I know. I made this. Choker? Mm-hmm. How's it hook? Oh, I see. Okay. It, this wire's really weak. It could break very easily. Mm. But then I did this kind of design where the beads are on the outside. Yeah. And then I encased these and then I did the outside oh, nice. on the inside. Nice. I like this one. Yeah. This is the stuff I'm keeping so far. This is the stuff that is either miscellaneous or new. Sauron? Yes. And the ring of... Yeah, that's the one ring. Truth, the one ring, yeah. What's that say? Alohomora. Ah, uh, what's that mean? It's the unlocking spell. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. Um, I, I don't like need this. this. I like this bat. I got that, you know, I got that at the same place where they had the McDonald's over the road. Yeah? I like that. Oh, I have so much stuff. I'm also going to get rid of this. Green and silver. Why? Because I had this one. Okay. This looks a lot cooler. Hi, Mom. Where are you going? To the bank. I love how this one looks, but this is not going to fit me as a bracelet, and I do not wear ankle stuff. So I'm going to get rid of that. Right, goodbye. Bye, Mom. 
This one I made, but it looks like a disaster, so I'm going to get rid of it. I don't even know what this is. Wait, no, not that one. This one. I love this. But it's like... It doesn't even... I don't know. I feel like it would fall off really easily. I really want to, I think I'm going to keep both of these for the moment and then maybe I'll end up wearing them at some point. <sighs> I know saying that sounds really weird, but what I mean is once I shrink my jewelry collection and I see what I actually have, maybe I'll be more inclined to wear certain pieces. This is going to be interesting to see. Okay, so this is an owl and letter necklace. Basically for like Hogwarts owl. Here it is. So they would hang like that. I I could honestly just get rid of the charms and keep all the chains. so rude but this is a really nice gold chain so I think that's what I'm gonna do for this one the owl's really cute I'm I might keep the owl and put it in my jewelry box and then get rid of the rest okay so up next is I have two of these I think one is bronze and one is silver again One's a lightning bolt, and one has, er, both of them have a lightning bolt and an H on them. I'm just going to get rid of these. They feel really super cheap, and I don't even like the pendants that are on them, so that's a no for me. This, oof. This is a Hogwarts crest. Cameo thing. Hmm. I don't know what I want to do with this. I think I'm going to keep the Hogwarts one just in case. What is this? Okay. I believe in this black bag are the rest. Oh, interesting. Okay. Huh, you can't really see them, but I have all the other four house crests here. And then I have a Dobby necklace somewhere. And I have extra charms that go with that necklace. So I have the night bus, the sorting hat, and a letter. Oh, I hate the clasps on these. They're so difficult to open. So I seriously doubt I'm ever going to wear this Hogwarts necklace. And I think I... Mm, I don't know. Do I want to get rid of all of it? <sighs> no. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the necklace. I'll keep the little things so I can put them on a chain if I want to. Like this chain. I don't need the night bus. I don't like the sorting hat. I don't want the sorting hat. I don't... Well, actually, do I? No, I don't want the sorting hat. Are you kidding me? I don't want any of this. So I'm going to put this in here. So it's a lot later. And um, I ended up just turning off my camera and going through all of my jewelry off camera the rest of it anyway 
but I'll show you most of the end result. This is the jewelry that I have left. These are just like extra chains and stuff that I have that I can put different um, pendants on or whatever. And then this is one extra keychain that I oh one extra keychain that I have, and this is a Christmas tree ornament. And then these are just bead links that I can make into a necklace. And then this has most of my jewelry in it. And I got this at World Market a couple of years ago. So, um, these are all bigger um, pendant necklaces. So I have my, I think this is supposed to be a raven skull, but this is like my Bellatrix raven skull necklace, Slytherin necklace. This is a arrowhead that I got when I was in Tuba City. <sighs> then I have my uh, raven claw little thing back here and then I have a whole bunch of tiny uh, or dainty necklaces along with some like word ones I have three word ones one Andromeda one that says Alohomora and then one that says Ugh. and one that says Scorpio anywho uh, then I just have a few rings right here. Went through and made sure that all the ones I have fit me. This tiny one right here, I believe, it's adorable. Wait, is it the right set? There it is. Oof. It won't focus because there's too much behind it. It's a heart ring. And I got it off of Wish, I believe, and it was like five bucks, and that includes shipping. It's adorable. Anywho, these are some extra charms and stuff, even though they're all like upside down right now. I have all four Hogwarts houses. Then I have an owl charm, a feather charm, and then um, I found this a long time ago. It's a quarter that somebody put this in, and I'm not sure if it's nastable to have an upside down eagle, which is why I've never actually made this into a, a worn necklace, but I still have it in there because I think it was interesting. Then I, oh, this is also a pendant that no longer is on a chain because why in the world would I ever wear that? And then I just have a couple of dainty bracelets back here and then my more regular ones. So these are the two that I normally wear. One has a feather, one has a blue gem on it. And then underneath is all of the other necklaces that I have. And I know it looks like there's a lot, but these are, it's because these are the bigger like chain ones and beaded ones. So this right here with the pearl on it, oof. This is a bracelet that it's basically a button closure. So you can see there's a buttonhole. Anyway. Uh, let's see, this silver one, this blue one here with these round things on it, and then there's this black one right here. Those are all big, like, statement pieces, and then this, what, all of these red beads are from one of the statement necklaces as well. This is a choker, the black and blue one. This is a choker. It's black, silver, and green. And what else do I have in here? This is, uh, it can be used as a choker, but it doesn't go all the way around my neck. This one goes all the way around my neck, and it has the closure. These are two giant chocolate frog uh, pendants. And then here's, this is a corded necklace black cord purple beads which is really cool and then oh here's just a bead link necklace and I love this because these I don't know if you could tell in the video but these beads have like swirls like brown and gold swirls on them which is really cool is that everything oh this necklace was given to me by somebody that I used to work with and she told me that it's a good luck necklace so I don't know. I think I've only worn it a couple times, but yeah. Oh, and then 
I don't know if you could see down here, I have a planetary necklace, which is a double layer, and it has all the planets on it, obviously. So that is all of the jewelry that I have left, and I did, I got rid of, like, an entire gallon bag of jewelry. <laughs>